two minutes after. Um, so we'll call the meeting to order. Um, we'll look at the minutes from last month first. And do I have a motion to approve those minutes? I make a motion to approve with one change. Yes. Um, Carl's name is spelled wrong. Yes. <laughs> No, it's not. Oh, it's got an L missing. <laughs> yeah. Of call it is. Oh, right. Okay. Okay, can I have a second then to that? Second. Sorry. Thank you. So we'll go right into old business and we're going to look at and review the um, final for the personnel the board uh, rules of procedure. So let's talk about those. Any discussion, any other comments, changes? The only question I had would be is um, now that we have these board appointment process, does that need to be in our rules of procedure? <clears throat> If we approve this, does that need to be in here? Or do we keep, I mean, we could keep it separate. I don't see why we can't. Right. Because the council could change that, right? <laughs> so, yeah. I that's very true. Yeah, so that, that probably, probably Stand alone. separate, yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's the only question I had other than that. Looks great to me. Any other comments, questions? Well, Additions, deletions. I, I can bring, bring this up. Um, yes. I really don't understand number three. Board members should be considered to have resigned a position if they miss three consecutive meetings or one half of regularly scheduled meetings. Now, what does that really mean? Okay, so prior, the 13 years that I've been on the board prior to July 1 of last year, I doubt that we had <laughs> one meeting a year. OK, this last year, starting July the 1st, we've been meeting every month and we had an extra meeting. So we're on track to have 13 meetings this year. So what does that really mean? Uh, what if we have an appeal of a demotion or a suspension or discharge? You know, why is the distinction between three consecutive meetings and three regularly scheduled meetings? What are the meetings we're looking at? Are they the monthly meetings or in this, it talks about quarterly meetings. Does that mean if you miss two of the four quarterly meetings, then you're off the board? I just don't understand. I think this is very confusing. And uh, I don't know, somebody has a long-term illness. Yeah. Uh, what happens, uh, you know? Yeah. Unless it says unless the city council is given prior approval for an exception based on unusual circumstances. So if Teresa knows that, you know, I'm out for some you know, extended period of time and she's going to miss, you know, we're going to say we have four quarterly meetings. She's going to miss two because she's out. Well, then she could say to the council, can you please give an exception to that? I think the council is going to be like, yeah, do your business. Like, I don't, I don't really know why they're going to want it. But I mean, half of 13 meetings is like six and a half meetings. And, so seven. And yeah. it's two mm -hmm. if you look at just quarterly meetings. And then what happens when you throw an appeal into the mix? You know, I'm, I'm just, I, I can't answer. I think you have, to be, you have to be at the meetings. I mean, if we have to. Prior to uh, discussion. Prior to. Uh, the assignment of uh, rewriting the uh, the uh, procedures, the uh, HR book. We rarely had meetings unless there was an issue for us to address. We I, honestly, we rarely had. We. I, I remember the first two years, I didn't see you people for. <laughs> No, maybe three times an entire year. Right. Really. 
Uh, but I understand his his question. His question is they're scheduled on this. Uh, this uh, in Article three as it it is. Uh, seven meetings, but right now we're actually having 12 because we have one every month. Mm -hmm. the, the math is incorrect. OK, that means if we're quarterly, it's seven meetings or six. And if you miss all of those meetings, it's determined that, hey, we assume you quit. Voluntary. I think it's. I did. I'm confused there. OK. The quarter, we, we're not having quarterly meetings. Having monthly meetings. Yeah, we're not having those. Since we're not having them, there are more meetings than uh, the article is is picking. OK, we have more meetings than uh, quarterly. OK. Is there a better way to word that, Ron? Would you see some more? I'm not sure how, I'm not sure. I'm just, I don't, you, I don't have okay, so then What do we want it to be? I, 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 what is reasonable? I'm not, I guess I'm not, under, help me understand the confusion. So in a 12 month look back period, okay. right? If we've had four regularly scheduled meetings or six or 10, whatever that is, right? Well, it's been 13, so. Okay, so in, in a look back, it's been 13. Yeah. So if you have missed seven meetings okay. or three consecutively, then you fall under this article. Okay. Well, what happens when you have four quarterly meetings? Does that mean you miss two and you're gone? Right, because half, right? So if yeah. you look back over the last 12 months, because it's like I call it the look back period, kind of like with ACA stuff, you have the look back yeah. period. <laughs> to 12 months and and you've already been somebody's been gone two and then they're gone that third one that's more than half correct but if you got you having 12 meetings and you miss three that's not half. that's the well, man yeah exactly right so how but can you it says three consecutive so my question, is, so my question okay so my question is are you going to apply the three consecutive if we're having 12 meetings a year? Or are you going to apply half of those 12 meetings a year? Are you still confused? It's yeah, because we're going to we're going to both. So if we look at a 12 month period, right? Okay. We look back from today, whatever today is, let's say September 1st, we look back a year and we say, OK, we're and, and again, we're talking about when we put these in place. We're not talking about what we've already done, right? We look back and we say, okay, we came into today's meeting and Laura wasn't here for the past two meetings. And so she's not here today. She falls under this. She's missed three consecutive. Or if we look back and we've had 12 in the past and Laura's already missed six and now she's missed her seventh, she falls under it. Or if it's 10 and she- Laura, what was, You missed seven. I, I see what she's saying. saying. In other words, if you come say every other month to a meeting, that's half of that's six months. So that's half of, of a 12 month meeting. But if you miss, say, February, March and April, three months in a row, then you're automatically considered to be no longer on the personnel board. That's what that's saying. Yeah, because it references a 12 month period. Right. Right. And they say, well, how many are in 12? Maybe we met 24 times. Maybe we've met four. Maybe we met five, you know. Right. Or well, any three consecutive. We, we've not had an appeal lately. We used to have one or two a year. And they may be one meeting or actually two. Are those meetings going to be incorporated into the quarterly and or monthly meetings? And we might meet 15 times a year. And I think it should be. Those are the most critical ones for us to be at. Exactly. I don't know. I mean, maybe what's more critical? I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all critical. Right. But I, but an appeal is more critical because of the right the, the person involved. Right. I think. Yeah. I mean, to them, yes, individually, yeah. yes, I would agree. But and they've hired a lawyer, and we have a whole proceeding. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and I think I was just going to add, just being at. 
various different boards. I think part of the, I think the idea here is sometimes you get board members that you have certain people that just don't ever show up and you don't know. It's like you call them and you're like, well, I'm not hearing anything. I'm not getting a response. You know, are they on the board? Are they not? So this is something that can, we can look to and clarify that, hey, you know, they are no longer on the board. We know we need to fill that seat. So, plus this was something that's actually in the city code. Um, I don't think we changed the language on that. Would would you have wording that might address this issue uh, from so the other this boards? This is what the UAB uses, right? Right. We yeah, and then this in the city code like that. So, is it codified? I didn't know if it's codified, but. Yeah, section so 1.39.003. Okay. You know, I'm making oh, yeah. I'm oh, making yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I'm making the assumption we're talking about a rolling year, a rolling 12 months, as opposed to a fiscal year or a calendar year. Right. I think there's always going to be those circumstances. Um, someone gets sick, someone has to be out. Um, and we, I think the important thing is the communication to say, you know, I'm still interested. I still want to be here. I just, you know, for whatever reason, can't. And then that at least lets us know versus those situations where the person just never communicates. Well, is there an opportunity for an excused absence? In other words, somebody goes and has surgery. Or... Yes. So maybe that should be addressed. Well, I think it is because the city council. I mean, we could. Think of it got that far. Like, yeah, if like we knew, I, like, when you were in the hospital, you know, we knew you were in the hospital or sick, whatever, you know. Yeah. And it wasn't like, well, Teresa's just not showing up because she doesn't yeah. want to show yeah. up. She wants to go on vacation or something instead. You know what yeah. I mean? So even if you miss three, like, personally, I wouldn't think we would yeah. go to the city council and say, hey, you know, Teresa's been gone for three months right. and she's been sick. It's like, this is more just like, like you said, the egregious, can't get a hold of them, they don't show up. Yeah, you know, like the call. Right. Because right. there's only five of us. I mean, yes. and yes. we need at least three for quorum. So if we have, if we ever have that situation, then we can okay. do it. Right. I think it's just a, it's a catch all for. I think it does give us some guidance. Is really what this is all about. Um, are you more comfortable now that we've had this discussion? Am I more comfortable with, with this? Was it number three, three since we've had this discussion? Well, just as long as we all understand what the rules of the road are, basically. You know, I mean, what are the what are the expectations? I mean, I haven't missed a meeting in nine or ten years, and uh, but I may have to get knee surgery in, you know, in December. And so I don't know how long I might, might miss a meeting. And so hopefully not three months. But I mean, three <laughs> just don't show up anymore, I guess. <laughs> just, just email me. You yeah. Know? Just email me and I'll relay your messages. Yeah. <laughs> we could go uh, virtual too, because we like you. So. <laughs> all right. All right. Aww. Thank you. Amazing blush. Oh, <laughs> in a computer with his face on the front. Like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I. That's all I had on that. Okay. Anything else then? Yes. You, you know, in terms of people being able to speak. Yeah. Obviously, nobody's here today. But. Uh, it seems to be awfully formal in terms of items have to, you know, things on the agenda. Requests must be made prior to the meeting to speak. Isn't that kind of formal? I, I don't know. I, if there were people in the audience today and we were taking up an issue, I don't have any problem about anybody bringing things to our attention. I mean, I don't think we're that important that we can't listen to you know, employee feedback on on an issue. Uh, it's just a just a concept that I understand why the city council does it. I mean, and I agree with you on that because I suggested last time that we just we do what the city council does, which is up to the minute you walk into a meeting, you can sign up to speak. 
but it, there is discretion in here about the, the chair can approve or deny a request to speak to mm -hmm. the board. So if you're like, eh, okay, mm -hmm. we want to open it up, then you can. I mean, yeah, this follows what uh, bylaws for many of our other boards. So it's we have structure in place. Mm -hmm. uh, PUAB, uh, that's the way it works there. Actually, the chair gets to decide whether someone can speak or not. So this is a little bit more. Um, Generous or open, yeah. uh, open uh, than than that, which seemed reasonable. Um, actually, I think it's a week in advance. They have to ask the speed and the chair can say yes or no. So. Um, it's not. Uncommon for us to have pre a formal structure about this and, um, you know, two business days. Seems pretty reasonable uh, for that. I think it's in my my experience since coming to these meetings is it's important to have that structure. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've had public meetings before where where they just came and you know they they stood up and talked to it, you know, mm -hmm. told their side and we never had a problem with that before. It's only when it's a a purse a employee matter mm -hmm. that we followed the rules. Well, I think from staff's perspective, I know going into meetings, if if it's something that's not on the agenda as a, as a staff person, I kind of want to know ahead of time, because if we want to have some good discussion, a lot of times I need to go back and take a look at notes. I need to look at, OK, what's what's the history of this? So that way we you guys can have more information and, you know, that from a staff's perspective, you know, I, I think it's a good thing to have a little bit of notice to, especially if it's something that's not on the agenda, which is kind of how we drafted this. Yeah, and I, I just, like that part too, where it's the part that, like, if you're going to come in here with something that we have no idea you're going to yeah. come in here and talk about, I agree. you know, two, yeah. two days. And, okay. I don't, yeah, and I don't sorry. know that we've had any times like that, mm -hmm. you know, but if there is one, yeah. then it's like, sorry, yeah. that's not on the agenda. We're yeah. not taking that up today. You, you know, you'll turn that in for next time. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be glad to table it and entertain it next month. Next time. Next time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you yeah. go. Next yeah. meeting, right? Next Whatever meeting, that is. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so I think it prevents chaos and it promotes keeping organized and being prepared and yeah. again, anything else? I make a motion to accept them this as the final draft. Okay. Second. Same copy as we're looking at. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Great. Yay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll jump then to the personnel board appointments. And we have in our packets the uh, applications for three persons, three candidates for the two vacancies, mine and Laura's. And then we have a third, Brad Mudd. No brag. Should we be looking at the policies and procedures probably to approve those? Hello. I did. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Um, the policies and oh yes yes the newly adopted okay so let's see did, did we get something from your office saying one of the people had already been appointed somewhere yes, else? somewhere else yeah. Yeah. Well, else is that this well the individual? city clerk let us know yeah that there, was, there were four yeah and then um the city yeah. clerk let us know oh. that um so there is so that's not brag applicants actually yeah, I think that's what she said in the email. Yeah, it's these three. There were four. 
and well, then two of them are already here. <laughs> yeah, yes. Um, but the other one got appointed to a different board, so the city clerk asked us to pull that. Well, is a motion in order? Or? Well, I think we should discuss the. Do, I mean, are we good with the, the process? I don't. I don't. I didn't make any notes. I think it's. I think it's a good set of procedures. I mean, um, I did have one question. Um, yes. I see. I may make sure that my question. Uh, I guess uh, if there are more applicants than seats, so like in this case, we have three for two. Right. I just want to, I don't think that we should have to be limited to only recommending two. If we want to recommend three, then they can decide of those three or whatever that we've recommended, they can decide which one they want to take. Because we might find, I mean, I don't know, we don't have a lot of people applying for this board, but you know what I mean? We might have four people that are that are qualified and we think are qualified and we would recommend them. And we've asked, the, you know, like if we decided to do the interview process, we've asked them the questions, we've determined mm -hmm. if they have experience and all that other stuff. I mean, in the end, it's the city council's decision. I mean, whatever we recommend to them, they can take or forget or whatever. As we know, sometimes they take it, sometimes they say no. <laughs> so let's look back at the resolution then that expanded the interview committee. And section three of that resolution. Everybody following me? Mm -hmm. I I didn't bring copies of the resolution. We'll put that last time. Okay. I've got it here if somebody wants to. Yeah, I, I know what it says. I, and I can I can run and make a couple copies of it if, if, if it's needed. Well, no big deal. Shall we see if it's a deal or not? An issue or not? Um, so answering. Laura's question or comment. We're to have recommendations for appointments. You see that in section three? No, you don't. You, don't get you can never mind. You got it. You got it. I could somebody can borrow mine. I I mean it basically says, you know, the personnel board will have recommendations for appointment made by the respective boards. That's correct. That's so, the way that states. So does that allow us to have what Laura is suggesting? Have three instead of two? And let the city council decide? I don't think it limits it. It doesn't say you can only re recommend people for the limited number of available seats. Right. And then if. Well, if you're going to recommend something, then the outside applicant, which I'm assuming nobody knows, would have to go through this process, that this interview process or whatever it's called. No, not necessarily, because we don't have that anymore, according to this. Well, the council doesn't. The council doesn't have the interview committee. The, so the council used to do an interview committee for mm -hmm. All these appointments, and then last year in July, when all the PUAB stuff went haywire, they decided to make certain positions, certain uh, boards and commissions. So the Planning Commission, Utilities, PUAB, TIF, um, those are all appointed now. So seven people, seven people on the board, they each get their. Appointment. Well, I think from what. Okay. I think part of it was for us is there's five. So it was like, well, what do we do? Do we give the four district council members and the mayor? Or then what happens to the at larges? You know, like, and we're defined by charter as five. So we can say, okay, well, let's just, you know, what you mean we can do in the charter review committee, we could change it to seven. So then it can become one from each of them. But I think they were like, well, wait a minute, what are we going to do with these other boards? that only have five or have nine or have, you know, I think TIF, economic 
EDIC, I think, has more than five mm -hmm. or seven, but whatever. So basically, they turned it to us. And I think part of the reason they did was also was because, you know, we're people who have HR experience, so we can ask people about what their HR personnel experience is so that we get people that are, I mean, you know, that are more knowledgeable in the area, per se. Um, but <laughs> quite truthfully, I think most of it was just like, uh, wait a minute, what are we going to do? We can't change it to seven. It's five by charter, so we'll let them figure it out. <laughs> That's a little how I felt about how it went down, because I had forgotten when I read this last year. I was like, oh, well, this just means we can make recommendations. It doesn't mean we appoint somebody. Right, which we don't, obviously. You know, we recommend to them and then they vote on it. And if, you know, if we don't recommend somebody and they want that person, they can still recommend, you know what I mean? But maybe this is a way for us to even, you know, to, uh, I don't know, not our intention, but to weed out people who are you're like, okay, you don't have any HR background, you know what I mean, to help serve on this, you know what I mean? And Brad's application was actually, Brad turned his application in to actually want to be on the Charter Review Committee. He did check the box. The, the, the application is a little confusing because it says check all the places you would like to serve and yeah. then ask the next question what were you, where would you like to serve well this one so um i truthfully think though i mean i know who brad is but i haven't talked to him but i think that he actually wants to be on the charter review committee but that that will kind of shake itself out anyway because at least according to becky and i don't know where this if it ends up this way but they're trying to get all those applications in by the 16th of september so that so that by the time we even come to interview in October, if that's what we decide to do, Brad might be out because now he's on that charter review committee. And quite truthfully, I don't know if anybody could serve on both and do it. That that charter review committee is going to be a full time job. I mean, even when the council member says, "I think that those people are going to have to work harder than we do," I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> don't chase off any more people than yeah. you're trying to chase off <laughs> like you guys get paid to do what you do so i mean personally i don't see anything that li limits us to how many we want to recommend if it's one two or ten um and and, and the interview committee like i said is out on the the council side, not out on our side. Our our decision is to yeah. do whatever we want, basically. Mm -hmm. Not what, you know, do we want to have interviews and all that. Right. Well, it just seems to me that, you know, we've got two well-qualified people and Laura and, 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 and Teresa. I don't know why we want to fool with any more, and I don't see anything in this application that would indicate this person has any personal experience. I mean, I guess if it, back in my old days in human resources, you get 50 applications for a job, it would go in that pile, mm -hmm. you know, and, and the other would be here. So, I mean, which would lead me to recommend or to, to move or make a motion that Laura and uh, Teresa be recommended for reappointment. And since we're already three months into the process, I think that's what we ought to do. Yeah, at least because we're already in September. Um, be July, August, and September. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, do we. So look, so setting aside, like, if that's what we think we wanted to do now, do we want to go ahead and approve these policies and procedures? So that for the next one, because because it does say if you decide to do interviews, you know, like, OK, we adopt these policies and procedures. Say we did that today and say, OK, yeah, we like these. And then we say, OK, we don't want to we're not going to do interviews. We're, so we're ready to go ahead and move forward with recommendation. Then you go ahead and do that. If next time you get five people who apply for two positions and we feel like, you know, like you said, we kind of do the. And then we're like, OK, well, we do have three that we want. Yeah, then we can interview. 
It's the first time that door's been in. Oh, she's got her badge. Yeah. <laughs> Usually, I, I was like, wow, she got in. Well, you know, when we look back at Mr. Rudd's application, it's very clear that he's interested in the charter commission. Yeah. He does mark the box for Chanel board, but he also marks the box charter commission. And he turned his in before we turned ours That's in. That's correct. He ours was, was the first. Yeah. That's right. We were due in May, and then he, and from the city clerk, she said, as soon as they started talking about the Charter Review Committee, he put his, his in right away, like, he wanted to make sure he was up for consideration. We don't have to adopt this, this process, do we? I mean, this is nice for future reading. But... Which process are you talking about? The, the appointment process. Oh. I, I kind of think it'd be nice because then it says, OK, like in March or first, you know, whatever, then this is how we should do it. And we go down. You know, we say, OK, you know, make this, meet this. Yeah. OK, we get over here. You know, we could receive the applications. You know, whatever we can interview if we want to, we can vote if we want to. We don't have to if we don't. But it gives us a start. Is there any value in? Delaying our recommendation until we get a chance to talk with Mr. Rudd to clarify what he's really interested in. Who's sir? This one? Yeah. Mud, breakfast. Why would we want to do that? I'm with you on that. All right. All right. Look at that's, I'm sorry. That's assuming that Laura or you. Don't want that position. It's been retained on be re uh retain the position yeah. here on the if, board. If that's well, I guess we would have to go through a vote and uh whatever. Uh if if the positions already feel there's no need, or if there's if you, I don't get it, if you already on the board and you already uh and you want to retain your position, there's no uh actually there wouldn't be a position open because you already here already on the board all we got all we're doing is saying hey we recommended uh these two members that's already here retain uh, their, position. their position by doing by agreeing to that there's no open position for bradley on this board so there will be no need for uh what a vote there will be no need for an interview there will be no need for any further action because if you don't feel we you Looking for a replacement. I don't understand. That's just me. So, any concern that we are to consider the applications in the order in which they were received? And so that would be a reason to contact Mr. Rudd. I mean, Mud. Make a motion to correct myself. My, I guess the, the, the <clears throat> just addressing that one piece of timing, just the timing, not like you said, whether we call or talk to him, where, but to me, again, if there are, if there are two positions that expire, like ours expired yeah. or whatever the phrase is on June 30th, and there are three people or four people who apply, and we think that we, 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 we might want to do three recommendations because we think there are three that are qualified now you guys pick from the three then we don't need to know when they turn them in like if you were first second or third or fourth we're going to go through all of them and say yes we would recommend jim smith no we would not recommend bob's you know like whatever but the, i don't think the council's given us really good good advice and, and I think mostly it's because we don't have a lot of people who apply for these boards. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, you, for me, it was just like, do you want to stay? Yeah. And that's what they've done in the past. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To say, you know, if you, okay. Yeah. yeah. I got a call from Mayor Weir. Like, Carl, we still need you on that board. Mm -hmm. Which well, and I think the city is really, okay. uh, I think the city is really guilty in, 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 in not making and I hate to use the word affirmative action, making a recruitment effort to fill all the board positions yeah. mm -hmm. by, you know, 
I worked as affirmative action officer for the city of Ames, Iowa for five years. And you do affirmative kinds of things to bring in candidates for jobs. I mean, planning commission, board of adjustment, personnel board, PUAB, health board, and so forth. And, you know, you just don't sit there and wait and maybe at a council meeting and say, do we have any applications? And somebody makes a comment on channel seven that, well, we need candidates. I mean, I, you ought to run ads in the papers online. You know, we got these positions open, we got these positions at the park board. Uh, mm -hmm. Apply, they're volunteer positions. They don't pay you any money, <laughs> but, but you know, as a community civic endeavor. Yeah. And and that's called affirmative action. So then those areas that are underrepresented, uh, you know, have an opportunity. People sit in a home will be able to say, well, gee, that would be kind of something I'd be interested in. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I think that's what the city really ought to do. And, you know, I bet the paper would even do it free. I don't know. Is there a paper? Hmm? <laughs> we have yeah, a paper? The examiner's still this season. Hello. Yeah. What don't you know? Examiner still not. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It is, but <laughs> I get my. And I'm sure they give us a little box that says, you know, if, yeah. if the city wanted to, you yeah. know. Yeah. And in truth, we, you know, through a lot of our platforms, we use, uh, you know, our newsletter and everything else. We do discuss opportunities and encourage people to apply. So they're, they're, we use the platforms that we have available. I don't think we've necessarily put it in the paper um, just because I think our reach with our communication, you know, uh, avenues are, are pretty, it's pretty wide. We, we're, we're well read. And followed and, and, and it's covered in is it covered in every other study session? Yes, yeah. We is that what is that? Yeah, I think yeah. it's every so other. So like instance, Monday. On Monday, there's yeah. the, the board appointments are up on the vacancies and everyone else has a report. Yeah. You're exactly okay. right. So if people are so, following yeah. along the city, they can they'll see every and three weeks what yeah. a month they'll oh. see. And and this this document here, this is not like a suggestion, this is a legal opinion based on you know what the resolution says and what our you know what our policies are. So this is not like, hey, this is what we think you should do. This is a legal assessment yeah. of what should be done. So, so it's already been approved by somebody. Well the attorney we have in the room. So, so yeah. on what basis do you put this together then? Well no, but I would I would I was hope that this board would adopt this policy is I think where we're going with this going back to Laura's comment is I think that the policy should be adopted or a policy. Um, it's good to have those things in place because if someone comes off the board, someone comes on, I mean, you have yeah. things in place that give you guidance, give you guidance, yeah. not to say that the policy could never be changed. But we've never been through this process. We're just, you know, you guys were just kind of thrown and said, okay, here you go. Yeah. Uh, figure this out. And <laughs> yeah. uh, so a lot of what my suggestions, I looked at not only the city code and the charter, but then I also looked at, okay, what are some of my other boards? Some this size, some a little bit larger, some, you know, what? how do they do those things? And so that's where I tried to try and think about and cover every scenario that makes sense. Why did you come up with that three to five questions? So that, that that's what city governments were doing in the 1970s because I was there doing it. And, and you know, we, we established that as a test. We couldn't find written tests or physical agility tests. Sure. So everybody's going to ask the same questions. And it was basically to cover cover ourselves from a EEO point of view, but it made no sense from an HR point of view. It wasn't how you select good candidates for, for jobs, or I think I would extend that to these boards. So that, it, that's more of a legalistic reason as opposed to an HR. Right, so I mean, if you is there more questions you want to ask? I mean, I don't. I just didn't couldn't think in my mind how many questions could we really be asking of a candidate 
you know, in some of my smaller cities, it's easier because it's like, well, I know Joe and I know, you know, so and so. So this, we don't really have to go through this process. But Independence is such a bigger city. I, you know, understanding that, okay, you might not know this person, but I mean, do you have a suggestion? How many, I mean, how many questions do you think? You would ask for so for example mm -hmm. give me a couple of questions you would ask a prospective board member sure what um, would be a question tell me a little bit about your hr experience and this this board we, we commonly look at um you know we people may appeal um you know discuss a little bit about what what our duties are here and what we're looking at you know mm -hmm. and or what's your experience with currently we are trying to um, go through our own policies and procedures what's your what's your experience in doing that so i mean those are the kinds of questions that i see being asked but mm -hmm. And I could, and I'm with you. Like I was this morning. I'm like, okay. If I had to say, like, if I had to come here and say, what are the three questions? I'm like, I don't even know that I could get to three. You know what I mean? I mean, obviously, we already by now we would know they've lived in the city. They, you're, you know, the things. Yeah. You know the merit system and all of that. And we can even read that and say these are the requirements. We assume by the time you've gotten here, you've met those, right? And then it's. What are your experiences with personnel policies and procedures? What are your experiences with with HR? Right. Maybe what's your experience with parliamentary procedures? Which is even really good. Time when. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, would it would it but I don't know how be better mean. just to say, you know, rather than saying we're gonna limit to three to five questions, the idea here being though too is we we're trying to keep this meeting, <laughs> you know, a certain amount of time. We don't have all day to do all these interviews. If, like, for some example, six people apply, mm -hmm. we're trying to do right. interviews. But would you know? Would it be just better just to say that the candidates will be asked the same questions? I think that versus would... saying we're going to limit it to three to five questions. Again, I think my idea behind that was just more or less thinking we only have a certain amount of time. A certain amount of time. Yeah. But I don't can, know. Can can you follow up for clarification? Sure. You can follow sure, up. Yeah. So that would be more than three to five then. Could be. Okay. But the idea though too still is we want to be consistent and you know I certainly don't want not you asked me a whole lot more questions or you know those types of things yeah. you didn't ask that person those questions so because this is a public meeting and i could i could see that we could have they could be sitting in the audience and hearing the same questions so would it would an interview be open to the public then mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So, mm, there's no reason you can't go into executive session on that right and that's Not the way and that's the way the council did yeah when they had their interview committee I mean, as and there were only three of them, and they still did it. Right, was it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, yep. I went through three different interview panels, and there's nobody in the public there. So, mm -hmm. well, I know when I interviewed for um, PUAB last year, uh -huh. I was out of town. I was actually on the I had to call in on the phone, okay. but um, there were members of the public at the meeting. That must be really special. I know I did. I did a full board of adjustment for planning commission. Made a week, and for this, <laughs> each time three member panel. The word of God. So in all of them. Yeah, and they did away with it. The only so person that yeah. they had it, they didn't Baker. have it. They had it. They now they don't have it. And like yeah. you said, keep it separate because who knows what next week. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm I'm being a little facetious. But, yeah, was when it was a yeah. but man, they went through. <laughs> I I have a question. Will the questions be? uh structured as if everybody at, at get the same three questions or four questions whatever number it is or is it individually uh teresa can ask questions ron can ask because that'll take time to send you're not right. crazy this i think you better keep up with the questions okay because the yeah. way this policy kind of works is is that you come up with the questions you want to ask each of the applicants and those questions are the same okay but i think you can do some follow-up about okay i'll, I'll oh, not yeah. a little clear on oh yeah that right. so that's clear oh yeah again yeah. i'm just trying to yeah because we, we want to make sure that we do that it's uniform because yeah. you don't want to come in here and ask one person 
this, 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 and this. And then they're like, well, yeah, they really interviewed me. Yeah. And the other one's like, yeah, we asked me one question. And, you know, I mean, we don't, let's just not get into that. You know what I mean? Personnel board. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. We're supposed to, yeah, kind of know this stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I think you, maybe you just change the word to a few agreed upon questions prior to the interview that will be asked of each applicant. And then if it's three or five or six or two, or it's a few. <laughs> I understand. I'd like to strike that question, that statement about three to five. Okay. Um, I do like the last sentence where each applicant is treated the same. I like that a lot. But which paragraph? I'm on paragraph four. Number four. Okay. Number four. So we strike the question that we may ask three to five. We may decide to ask one or two mm -hmm. if we have 10 applicants. It's also up in three, so we could change that wording. It's, it kind of printed on the top. Paragraph three, but then it printed up at the top. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just say. Well, and, and do we need to? So it says, you know, um, they may, if the board wishes to interview the applicants, then the board may want to discuss three to five questions they should ask of each applicant. Should we, should we say that may want to, but should discuss a few questions that want that you want? I mean, because I don't want to say, like, I think we should know ahead of time. We don't want to come in the day of and be like, okay, what are our three questions? I agree. So I think that. I'm sorry. It's easy to establish the questions that make you that makes a candidate qualified. Okay, it's easy to establish two or three questions. You don't matter what number of questions, but it's easy to establish those foundational questions to see if the candidate is qualified for the position of the board. Yeah, yeah. You know, you don't want to ask you you know something irrelevant. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. To. Uh, Sitting on sitting here. I just, you know, maybe it should be then the board shall discuss which questions they want to ask of each applicant. I mean, I, I know kind of what you're saying is may, like you may want to, you know, like trying to, yes. but let's just say if we're going to interview, then we're going to do it. We not may do it, we will do it, I guess. And then just leave it as a few. Or the question we want to discuss the questions they should ask. If it's two or five or I, don't, I couldn't even I like take that. questions to ask yeah. <laughs> that have anything to do with being on a board. You know what I mean? Yeah. Other than what we've already talked about, um, so it would be if the board wishes to interview the applicants, the board may want to discuss the questions. So I would to change be that at, to will discuss. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll discuss the questions to be asked of each applicant. Yeah. Then it gets rid of the three to five. It says we will. And yeah. it doesn't say we have to interview. It says if we decide to. If we I don't agree. decide to, then. Yeah. Does that make sense, everybody? So let me go to paragraph four. And we strike the second to the last sentence at the meeting, the board may ask the applicants three to five. So we strike that. I don't even know. I'm, I'm that not last even sure. What are we? Are, is it redundant? We'll have a meeting to review the applications, make sure they meet the requirements. And then if we think we need to interview, we decide then we need to interview. We come up with our questions. Maybe forced to be more about at the meeting. The board will ask the applicants their agreed upon questions. Yeah, yes. Yeah, and, and not even talk about the city could receive applications yeah, from people. Yeah, yeah, take like, that all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, I like that. Yeah, yeah, I like that first sentence. Yeah, mm -hmm. that when you need to find a store award, and then work and invite them to a meeting of the board, may I ask the questions? Yeah, 
Yeah. What else that? Okay, is everybody clear what we're doing here? Make sense, everybody? Um. Uh, so I just want to make sure that also too that um, this was a didn't seem much of a nightmare. Um, they weren't the council wasn't looking at the actual procedures, but um, there was a requirement for them that it be a majority, not a majority vote, that it be unanimous vote. Mm. That got into this big. That was a big part of this whole deal too. Was well, there's three of them. If two vote, yeah, does it have to be unanimous? Yeah, and the policy said it had to be unanimous. Yeah, and I hate to say it, but unfortunately, council members were like, "Oh, we don't know what the what the policy is." Yeah, well, look, pull the policy out. It says, but yeah, I would assume that we would go based on what we've always done, which is a quorum. So, so it could be if you have three members. At the interview, and they're making recommendations. You need two in that sense, a majority, right? Yes. Is that what you're saying? Uh, I just want to. Yeah. No. No. I, yeah, in the quorum, that's all. You, you need a majority. So that's well, what. You, a majority of those present, or a yeah. majority of the full board. Uh, yeah. Know, How's that defined in our rules of procedure? Because I don't think we. I think it's majority that. present. Present. Isn't it? Yes. Did I say it? I'm sorry. I say no, I, I, yeah, I don't. I just don't remember what it says yeah, in our new thing that, that we adopted. Look at number Article Two. Oh, uh, you're looking at the uh, <laughs> rules of policies and procedures. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. Okay, Article. Oh, okay, Article Two meeting. Yeah. The Look at number four. Three members of the board. Article Two, number four. Right. So. Right. So if there are three people here, we have a quorum, but the vote is still, it's not two out of the three for the vote. That just talks about the quorum. Correct. Where does it talk about the voting? Oh. You know what I mean? So you see what I'm saying? Yes, I do. There's three of us here. That's a quorum of the board. But then when you vote, is it the majority of those present or the majority of the full number? I and I don't know if that's addressed in here now that we talk about I, it. Yeah. I will say most of the recommending bodies that I work with, it's typically a majority of those present. That's what I would say. Yeah. Because it's you know recommending body versus yes, I think that's what number four says. Article two, number four. Yeah, it just says we have a quorum. And not a, it doesn't say how many if 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 we have a quorum, which could be three of us. Here. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to vote on something. Is the voting the majority of those present? Or the majority of the board of those present. So, so if there's three present, you could two of the three correct could but, vote for it. In other words, does it take two or does it take three? Exactly. Well, it's not a majority. Well, that would be consistent. That well, would be a, a, a majority. I mean, a, a unanimous decision. If it had, if it forced the uh, uh, three to vote three, you know. Right. Instead yeah. of do it wouldn't be the corn uh, ruling or decision. Because the corn is only if it's three, like we keep saying, if it's three, uh, if if it's just three, it only takes a majority of those three. Okay, but if, if but it doesn't say that anymore. That's what I'm. That's what I'm, I'm trying thinking, to understand. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking it. Uh, yeah, it's understood. That is the majority. I mean, it would be the majority. It wouldn't have to be unanimous. No, no, definitely not. We're not thinking okay. of the word unanimous anymore. Okay. So you have the definition of a quorum. So right. a quorum is a majority of those present yeah. or of right. the, those on the board. So quorum is three out of five. Right. If we have two of us, we can't vote on anything. This, you don't even have a quorum. 
So now we have a quorum and there's three of us sitting here in the room. Now we go to vote on something. Is the vote based on the majority of those in the room, which is two out of three, or is it have to be a majority of, of the board? board? Well, the board ain't, the full board is not present at that voting. Just right. like our regular meet, the meetings here, if the majority, right. I mean, if everybody's not here present, you can't, I don't think. So, I, what would happen if you structured it that way, we, you couldn't really vote because uh, everybody's not here. Even though you in, in 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 even though there is a quorum present, so you would have to postpone until the whole board assemble, then revoke. No, 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 no. I'm not suggesting that at all. Definitely. But that's what it sounds. It sounds like you're saying, hey, if all if just three of us is here and the majority and there should be or can be or it is a vote, is that going to move forward or should or we can't vote unless all of us is present. No, so you have to define a quorum. Okay. Right. So we have a quorum if we have three. Right. And so we can vote. Right. So we, we know that. Right. So then we say, okay, when the votes are cast, right. is it the three out of the five? You, you don't have five if you've got three. Uh, three present out of the five that are appointed to Correct. the board. Okay. Or is it two out of the three? Because there's three people here. So a majority of us voting would be you two voting yes. There's a difference between having a quorum to even start a meeting or vote or anything, but then it's based on. So let's think about the city council. So if the city council meets. Oh, stopped. <laughs> yeah. Well, so the city council meets and someone is not there to vote. They're not on screen or, you know, whatever they need to do to vote. It still requires four people to vote to pass something. It's not now you only have four people there, so a majority of the council would be three. It's not. It still requires a vote of four. Well, I, I would say under Robert's rules, which um, we do reference in our in Article mm -hmm. Two, number by seven, right? right. Robert's rules would say that in the absence of a, like a statute or something specific, because there are statutes in Missouri that say, you know, it right. requires so many votes to pass an ordinance, let's say. Right. Mm -hmm. But um, I think in the absence, it would be a majority of those present mm -hmm. is the is the is the rule. OK, and this seems to at least allude to that because number seven, and I'm looking at uh -huh. Article 2 mm -hmm. 7 because mm -hmm. that last little part mm -hmm. talks a little bit about it, unless otherwise directed by a majority vote of the members of the board that are present. I, I'm not saying that's for every decision. I'm just saying it seems to at least. Yeah, and that to me is very much directed just at points of order. Well, I, points of order, but I think that's um, that's indicative of. Of that at least gives us some guidance with regards to our decisions, I think. What do what do the rules say about the concept of a proxy? In other words, if I can't be here to a meeting and I say I'm going to write a proxy to give to Laura to vote my proxy on issues, is that permissible? Under the Missouri Sunshine Law, that would not be. We don't do proxy votes. Why? Um, you have to be not. present to vote. Um, it, well, it, I take that back. You can be on. You can be on a screen. screen. You could be yeah. on your. You know, if it's not a roll call vote, you can be on. Um, you could be just calling in. We don't have to see your face, but if it has to be a roll call vote, okay. then we have to see you. But so, Zoom or a, or a, whatever those are called. Sure, sure. That could be. Just as yes, as though we were here. Right. Exactly. Right, and that's like why council. Like if 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 you want to call into a meeting, and you're not on there, you can't. Becky can't record your vote. Right. She she'll and she'll ask. Please bring yourself up on a screen yes. so we can hear you say, see you say your vote. Do yeah. we have that capability here? Uh, it's the difficult, Zoom. but <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we, yeah, that's a board decision. I think it's in the 
think we put that in the. I mean, do we either have the hardware or the IT or do we do a Zoom at this location? Or do you have to be at City Hall? Yeah, we, we can do that. Now. You can do it here? Okay. Yeah, yeah. We, we've, we've done that in the past for PUA. PUAB meets here. Oh, okay. Um, All right. And we, we've done that. And it's through the little deals here that we. Um, at the time, uh, when it's kind of hybrid, we do. Um, someone logs in on Teams, and I think we project them on the screen up there. Mm -hmm. So if we have some people here, some people yeah. virtual, we, we yeah. kind of mix it up. Okay. So yeah. it's quite frankly, it's a lot easier to do like all or all one way or the other. The yeah. hybrid stuff very hard for our staff to manage, oh. but we do it in a pinch. So you know, if we ever got to a point where it's like you want to have a virtual meeting. If COVID is widespread uh, and we yeah, or, meet. or for any other like yeah, but we have a snow day and mm -hmm. right. we, hey, let's go ahead and meet. Um, we can do that virtually. Um, and um, it's better to, to do kind of all or nothing again, but we, we can do yeah, we can okay. do it. Okay. Um, it is and definitely it, and it would easier. Be, yeah. When they've been in like in a room, like finance and audit, yeah, and it's, like it's three awkward. over here and yeah. two out there and one over there. It's and you're awkward. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but it, uh, that would also depend on, you know, making sure your computers at home are, or whatever device yeah. you're using has that capability. I mean, we can go low tech and do a phone too. So. Sure. But we can't vote on the phone. Um, as long as it's not a roll call, mm -hmm. like right. ordinances, for example, they have to have a roll call, but if it's just all, all in favor, all opposed, you can do it that way. But I, I, what, are, what are the requirements? You get a roll call as opposed to uh, uh, all in favor, whatever that's called. Mm -hmm. Are we required to do one or the other? Uh, no, I mean, I think for the I most mean, part, all in favor if somebody's all on the phone. All in favor, yes. I have not seen anything that says anything that you do here has to be by a roll call vote. And I think the other thing we would want to think about, though, I don't, I think this would not be a situation where we would want to do it is, um, unless we were just like knee deep in a pandemic and we can't get in a room, would be is, if we are talking about a particular person's situation, mm -hmm. um, because I mean I don't I don't know maybe I'm overthinking it, but if we don't have secure VPN and that type of thing, mm -hmm. should we be discussing individual person's policies over a team's meeting, you know, or something like that? Does that make sense? Just for privacy, but. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, that's probably overthinking it because most people aren't going to try to break into that kind of meeting. You know what I mean? Oh, well, they've come a long way, I think, a lot. Yes. With, I mean, since we've had to deal with Zoom and Teams and stuff to make them a little more secure. Okay. But like, but you're right. There are people out there that that that's their goal in life. That's what they do these meetings. Yeah, right. Right. I, mean, I, I get it. Yeah. yeah, I get it. But that those happen so. You and far between, yeah. and I think we would just have to say we need to have a time because they're going to have their union rep if it's a union person, and then there could be an attorney there, and then staff, and then maybe covers here because he's got you know like yeah. I don't yeah I right. think people want to be a person I think yeah because yeah. some of these meetings like today very well yeah. could be incorporated into yeah. the Zoom and Teams or, yeah I don't think we um, most of the union contracts now that I'm I can't think of any that actually have. Where the grievances come to the personnel board, and um, just Fair just much. so you know, I'm I'm okay. I'm trying to. I think we've negotiated all seven at this point, mm -hmm. and now a couple of twice. Mm. Yeah, those those union grievances don't don't come here anymore. So it would be non-represented employees. So they go to binding arbitration then. Uh, there's a it depends, but there's a process. Yeah, there's so even the steps. firefighters, we've had a lot of. Them. Yeah, I don't think they're. I don't think they're. I'd have to go back and double check, and um, I'm sure. Someone is going to correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. um, I don't. Yeah. I don't believe that process now includes. Some may include a choice, but um, mm. there might be a choice on on one. I can think of one where there's a like you can choose one or the other, but you can't, mm. you can't go back. That explains so, why we're not getting it. I guess. Yeah. So I mean, you you would get it from um, non-represented employees. Yeah, because yeah. I know we had like an HR person. We ended up not showing up, <laughs> um, and then we had that one other case with somebody else, but I can't remember what 
what department that man worked for, but I do know then he was represented because I remember McGregor representing him, but that may have changed, like you said. With, but whatever. I just think that if it comes to us, we we should we should try to be in the in the room together. But again, those happen so few and far between. Right. Yeah, and and I remember those meetings that we had where it was with you know personnel, whether it was you know an employee. You know that it was even though we had a quorum, it was my by majority vote of whether they retain their position or not. I know because I didn't agree with everybody on a couple of them. Yes. So uh, you and me, I've both. only been on. Yeah, it's not surprising. <laughs> we're, a little, we're a little bullheaded. I. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's why we're here. Yes, <laughs> that's right. The duty of teams. So I think. OK, where are we? Um, well, what are we going to do so with regard we, to the appointment of? What I, so oh. we know we've got the correction, the one correction. Right. About the previous five questions. And uh, the uh, voting process for the. Uh, Corn process for uh, oh, what's making the decisions on a uh, actually it's supposed to be about the potential applicants, okay? Well, did I, we I, get I, it yeah. resolved about what a quorum is? Well, I'm sorry, not what a quorum is. Well, <laughs> right, what voting is. Well, I don't think we yeah. do. I okay, think we so should add something back to this thing that we just approved. Article 2, number 4. Is that where we're still conflicted? Article 2 on the rules of procedure, number 4. I, I agree so, with that section because that tells us we have a quorum when we have three. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't, but I think we need another line that says, you know, when you vote, it's whether you want it to be a majority of those present or majority of the existing members of the board. So didn't we clarify that with number seven? Yes, we, we did. Jennifer but this says Robert's rules of order. But it says the presiding officer shall decide on all points of order and procedure in accordance with Robert's rules of orders. Yeah. Unless otherwise directed by a majority vote, the members present. So, so you, the way I read that, maybe I'm wrong, is so you say the point of order is that we should do something, whatever it is. And we say, no, we're, we as a majority are going to override that decision. So you could say the point of order is. This, to me, there's another paragraph that needs to be in there about when you, a vote is a majority of the mem number of members of the board or those present. I was going to go back and look at the QAB. Did we take that? Did they have that and we took it out? Or? Mm -hmm. I don't have a, I don't have my other board's bylaws. You know what I'm saying? You, you, know, you know what I'm saying? That there's usually a paragraph that states voting, you define a quorum, and then you define how you're going to, how votes are counted for pass or fail. Is it majority of those present or majority of those on the board? And then here it says, so if we have five, let's say someone is off the board for whatever, like whatever happened, there's four. So again, your quorum is still three. And so then if there's only three here, do you have to have all three vote together to pass an ordinance or is it only two of the three? 
I think we need to clarify that. That's that's I mean, that's just me. I, I don't read that seven. I understand what yeah, you're yeah. saying, but I don't read it as. Because usually, you know, like and I miss that when I go through a bylaws or something, I'm like, what's your quorum? What's your number for voting? Yeah. And it's a separate paragraph. And I can bring up some I don't have my computer set here to bring up language, but I think we should actually go back and add that to this. But then as far as this goes, as far as the appointment process, the voting there would follow the rules of the voting that we lay out here. So I think we could still go ahead and make a motion to accept the personnel board appointment process with the suggested changes for the three to five and yeah. that. Does that sound right? But now it's like undoing what we did this if we want to have something added to that. Which I really do think needs to be clarified. Do others? I mean. I'm just thinking what if we had two seats open? Then there's only three people. So to have a quorum, you'd have to have two. No. OK. Yeah. Yeah. So then if you voted, you again, you have to have majority votes. So you would have to have two of the three. Because if you only had two here, you don't even have a quorum. So voting and everything else is out of the question now. Right. And if we get down that many, we should be talking to the council. We've got to step up and get. But yes. I think that. I say it this way, maybe tell me, tell me if I'm wrong. I would make a motion to amend the personnel board rules and procedures to mm -hmm. add a paragraph defining the voting, the vote counting process. I don't know what like the words to say there are, but I think we know what we mean. You know what I mean? Whether to be. Or you would majority would be accepted is that what you're saying i think it, my opinion it should be a majority of the people on the board it should not be a majority of the people that are present hmm. i think it should be those that are present i agree with her it should be the okay. majority of that those one present. that's present because they would you would have to put it up if we got to include the whole board and uh no, 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 no we don't have to put if as long as we have a quorum we don't have to put off any Okay, but then that's that's the people present, isn't it? Am I not explaining it clearly? I don't. I'm, if we have five people, we've got a full board, right? Correct. Three people show up. Correct. We say, do we have a quorum? Yes, we have a quorum. Yes. Okay. Now we have to vote on something. Okay. We're going to vote on this. Is it majority of the people in the room, or is it a majority of the board? But you couldn't have a majority of the board if they are all not present. Yes, because the majority of the board is three and three are present. OK. That's semantics. Uh, <laughs> no, that's that's <laughs> that all three would have to vote yes or all three would have to be no or it's not. It doesn't. Right, right. Well, that's not what well, that doesn't. That doesn't make that's where I'm getting lost. Because you if you're saying it has to be all three that's there. They have to vote yes or no. You or two. Which is the majority can carry the vote. See, that's why I keep getting lost, and, and that's not, I'm not really lost, but that's where the conflict at to me. It, 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 do you see where my conflict? I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm confused because there are some boards who will say, I mean, I've been on a lot. There's okay. some boards that will say it's a majority of the, as long as you have a quorum, now you can vote. It's the majority of the people that are in the room present. Or it's no, it's still a majority of the number of people on the board. You, what? But they're not, I don't know. Okay, but let me, draw, let me draw a picture. Right, yeah, let me draw a picture. picture. So there's five of them, right? It's just, so, so what she's saying three, is, is three, four, me, five. Does it require right? all three? 
to vote the same to way. Vote the same That's way what you're saying. Right. Yeah. Well, then but that then, would be that, 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 be that would be purpose, that would be a majority. That would be unanimous. And we ju you just said you, you we that's not uh, applicable here. You I'm not using the word. I'm you're not, not using, using the word, but you're requiring it. Okay. I, maybe maybe I'm the only. We one want a unanimous vote. We can do whatever we want. No, what, I'm just. What this comes down to is, is you're like asking for a unanimous vote. Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't you ask? Stop now. I'm asking. Stop now. Okay. One person at a time. Okay. They're talking over each other. Okay. We're not right. going anywhere with that. All right, I understand. So what we're trying to decide is, is there a unanimous vote of okay. those present? Yeah, present. No, we're not using the word unanimous. You're unanimous. using the word, right? But isn't that still what it, what you're requiring? Just because you're not using the word doesn't mean it's not what you're requiring. You just never. <laughs> I'm lost because of, that's what I keep. You're hearing. not lost. Well, you're saying there's five. If there's four of you here, it would have to be three to one. If there's three, you're saying all three. If you're saying it's a majority of the five, yes. If you're saying the it's the majority unique. of right. those present, it could be three out of four. It, or if there's only three people, it could be two out of three. Yes. Here. So you have to decide which one you want it to be. Yeah, right. To be. Yes. We want B. The majority of those present. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And so just to understand what that means in terms of like if we do that. There are two if, people. Could there two people something. could pass something on a board of five. On a board of five, if there's only three that show up, and if that's what we want, if if you think if we think that everybody's good with two people on the board making a decision versus three, then that's fine. I personally think we should have three out of the five should agree. But if you want to do majority of those present, majority it's a difference between present. two and three. Let's take it to a vote. I vote. I vote majority of those okay. on the board. I would say it should be three. So I guess it would be a majority. Of the board or of the president? The total membership of oh, the board, okay. yeah. Okay. With the idea that those people can register their vote via Zoom or Teams or, or whatever. Yeah. I don't think 40% should get you elected. Or what is, or, what if circumstance that they're not virtually present? They're not what? If they're not virtually present. And they don't count towards the quorum and they don't count towards the book. But then you still don't have the full board. I, you don't have the full board, would you? No, if they're not here, that's not the full board. Right. All right. And we've done this before. I mean, we've done we've done this before when, you know, like when you were out, we voted on things. You know, so we had, you know, and there were times, there have been times when there's just three of us here. Yeah. And, and we haven't done this stuff with two to one. Did we? Yes. You, yeah. Yes, you have. Yeah. All the time. With only three people there? there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, then that's the precedent. Yeah. And I, that's the precedent. And if, and if we're good with that, then that's fine. That's, I'm like, there are different kind of issues that you're voting on. I mean, I, I mean, for what it's worth, the yeah. UAB, that's, yeah, that's how that, that board operates as well. How do they operate? They, they operate where, you know, it's it's a majority, you know, as long as you have a quorum, then right. the, and the majority, majority of the quorum. Yeah, yeah it's a majority of the quorum. And that's how we've been it's operating. It's the majority of the people present. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So, so, you know, I'm good. there's well, that. No, spoken. So. All right. Let's Does that same thing apply to an employee appeal? Mm -hmm. I mean, some, somebody lost their job, they're appealing, there's only three of us. And two can approve whichever direction, yeah. or is it just these like all Policy this bureaucracy, the rules and regulations, and all? You guys, I mean, does it apply to everything? So two board members can put a person back to work that's been fired by 
the city administration. If we do it's that, not three, then, it's not right. unanimous five. Right. See, I, I, I don't like we, that. I option. don't either. I don't think two people should be able to, but yeah. if we've done it, then yeah, we have. We have uh, well, just because you've done it, with, even advice. with employees in the city, have, we have did that where the, all of the board members wasn't here. We and and the uh, HR was here and they presented their uh, evidence in their case. And we that was here voted. But typically, yeah, it, the opposition or the other person that's. They violated. The HR policy and it, and we really just wrote our uh, voted and then we discussed what the uh, resolution or what we yeah that's all we did we didn't yeah. make the decision whether he was fired we just gave the, the hr say hey listen mm -hmm. I, I this is how we uh this is how what i think and guess what when we did that it was individual and then it was like cultivated to convey us as a majority it wasn't an individual single yeah. vote that hey Three of us say, yeah, uh, two of us say, hey, terminate the terminate the employee and. Uh, one said, no, we came to a consensus that, hey, the policy states this and they was violated. They violated the policy in this fashion, and. This is our reasoning for. Termination, we agree with the HR. I haven't been here and we didn't agree with HR. <laughs> Yeah. Did we do that, Jennifer? Yeah. Did we do that? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> one, two to one. But yeah. I don't think we've been here. Not on an day. appeal. Yeah. Not on like an appeal, but you guys have voted on stuff when only three of you have been here. Yeah, but it has we to be all three. Of, and you didn't all three agree. Yeah. Yes, one hundred percent. You've done that. Because I know, like she says, she's voted against the majority, right. and I have too. Mm -hmm. But yeah. there, you and I voted. Same way on yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. But there haven't been any now. appeals since in three years since I've been here. So right, right. Which we haven't had any appeals. Yeah, yeah. Have we had any appeals since? Not been? since I've been here. Yeah, no. he just said. I, I think Deborah was. We yeah, still Deborah. had Deborah. Yeah, Deborah and Kayla. <laughs> I love them. Where are we? We're still trying to make them. So ask the question again. Yeah. So the vote is by majority. By majority. Those that are present. Is that the case? I mean, you two definitely are wanting to be present. Mm -hmm. You and I are wanting to be majority of the on there. And what are what's your vote, Teresa? You're up. To, it's up to you, Teresa. Oh, I'm saying the majority of those present. Okay. Then I will make a motion to amend the personnel policy, personnel board rules of procedures to add a paragraph stating, and I'm not going to say this quite right, but okay. majority for purposes of voting is defined as the majority of those right. present. So, second on that? I second. second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> so we'll come back and yeah. Aye, yeah. Aye, aye, aye. Now aye. we can go back to this. <laughs> Which I would make a motion to accept the personnel board appointment process as written. Minus those changes that we did. Uh, yeah, with exception of the three to five and yeah. Okay, do we have a second, second. on your hat? And that uh, Okay with it. Are you with us, Rob? Yeah, I just still am confused about the uh, the meetings, and but I'm not going to hold it up. Just what you ever want to do. I don't think. Well, we're we're on we're on this one. Are you okay with this one? Oh yeah. Okay, I don't know which one because these are not numbered. Okay. It's okay. We're on this one. Oh, well, this one. Is, right? Well, it's it's all right. Yeah. It's not what it's not how I would have written it, but that's we, we pay an attorney unless she's working pro bono or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. there's enough given there that it's not like 
you have to do this. You have to do that. Right. It's like, well, that's not the case. Okay, so, okay. so vote, we vote on that then? On the... So there's a motion and a second. On the process. The process. Correct. Okay. Right now where we're at, we're voting. There's been a motion on the personal board appointment process to approve it as written with the exception of the exceptions we've made. Yes. Mm -hmm. The changes we've made. Yes. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. I'm exhausted. No, I'm sick. <laughs> I'm getting it. In the launch end. Okay. All right. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> okay. Where are we? We are. Now we need to make a decision as to whether we want to interview the three applicants or if do we want to say. So now we got to follow the procedures we just adopted, yeah. or we wait until they're tied up. What? Do three applicants? You, her. We want to interview you and her. We need to decide whether we want to interview anybody because we can. We don't have to. We don't have to. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, fine. Would you want to do that? Just like what he said. I, well, I, would I mean, if you hire two police I officers and they're questioning, why I would you want to say, well, let's interview somebody else and maybe one of these guys? If Laura, wants, if Laura, if you want to retain your position and Teresa want to retain, there's no. Or I've already stated that there's no reason. No, it's no. not logical to even consider because so, the position is. I agree. Okay. Fair enough. Go to a vote. Say all whatever. Uh, think we should. Well, I I had a I had a, I had a motion oh, earlier okay. to <laughs> recommend Laura <laughs> and Jenna uh, uh, and, and Teresa. Jennifer, Teresa. Yeah. You know, we recommend everybody. Anybody, everybody. <laughs> I interview Laura. <laughs> you can ask me questions. Okay. Good. If, we, if we do that, we're going to have tough questions. Bring it on. Yeah, really tough questions. Okay, then I will <laughs> second your motion okay. to recommend to the city council because your yes. motion to the city council to recommend Laura Dominic and Teresa Cromwell be reappointed to their seats on the personnel board. Yes. Yeah. That's Can you that's recommend yourself? Yeah. Can she recommend herself? Well. I mean, yes. if we don't, yeah, yeah. we don't do that. We're never second. It's yeah, it's not a, it, so it's yeah, yeah. It's not yeah. a real system motion. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I think you should build to vote. Whether not I mean, yeah. Okay. None of this is real. You know. I call for the question. Let's go. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'll make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> No, yeah, too, too, late. Late. too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Well, before we, <laughs> I'm just being facetious. Yeah. You know, we just approved something that talked about quarterly meetings. So I am in favor of doing quarterly meetings monthly. It's just not necessary. I don't know that we have anything to discuss. It ties up staff, you know, attorneys and administrators. I guess Why don't we just meet whenever? Skip October, go to November. I don't know. Is don't the uh, HR uh, well, It wasn't the thing on our. We're complete finished with the uh, revision of oh, the. Oh, gotcha. uh, no. No. We have, no, no. Oh, we got to keep. You haven't the... even got started. Okay. Well, no, but we're not going to have anything every month. And right. because. We're trying to make the revisions. The okay. agreement was we would be making the revisions and in total totality yeah. and then meeting with the labor coalition, right. getting all their feedback. So by the time we bring it to you guys, okay. all that has already been discussed. Yeah. So that's going to take a few months. OK, um, so we may saying? have an ethics policy to bring forward. Yeah. Before. Okay. Yes. Still kind of trying to figure out what's going on with the board or with the council. So. With the Lord, is that what you yeah. said? With the, with with the, the council. council. Oh, I thought you said the Lord. You said the board. The <laughs> no, I'm just no, no, no. We're waiting. We're in TikTok. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. So we're there now. Uh, so what are you talking about? January, maybe the yeah. next week? Yeah. Um, that uh, issue with the uh, revision. I, I wouldn't anticipate we would have any changes to the personnel and policies and procedures manual to offer personally. For you all to look at at least after yeah. first year. Okay. It, it will take, you know, several oh, yeah. meetings with, okay. with, labor. Yeah. with the labor coalition. So the uh, second Friday in January? Is you want to tentatively go ahead and schedule well, that? 
and we can I, bring forward what we have. Well, but I think we also need to leave open for if they get their ball rolling Correct. on yeah. ethics. Yes. Yeah. So, so maybe tentatively plan for November. Um, at a, a November meeting, we'll notify you all in October or, you know, communicate with, with, with you, Teresa, uh, you know, in October, late October, if the meeting's necessary, you know, we'll, we'll ask for that. Otherwise, we'll cancel that. So that's, and then, and then plan for January. January for at least maybe just an update to you all about where, where we are with things. And that'll keep us kind of chugging along on the right track and, and keep you on point. I like that. Does that sound good? Okay. Cool. Thank you. So tentative November for ethics if we're if we're there and then for sure January. Yeah. On our normal regular schedule. Yeah. Whatever Monday. Friday, ten o'clock. Yep. Okay. So yay. Okay here. Yep. Good. Yep. Do you guys like it? I I mean I, I love the setup here. So I like that one the conference room in the basement of City Hall. <laughs> no, I liked I it. City Hall. I, I did. That, I yeah. liked it. I, I'm sorry. I, I prefer City Hall. Yeah. Yeah. Over yeah. this out here. Chairs not as comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot easier in board meetings and uh, everything. But the parking is so much bigger and better. And that's what I have a problem with. Yeah. Is you know, I, I moved across town so I'd be closer. Uh, and well. then you move it. Back across town. <laughs> where back I used to live. Well, back yeah, well, no, I'm moving back out this way. Right. Been there, done that. <laughs> I that like way. it here because then there's not as much. There's just not as much traffic of anything yeah, else right. going on, and we don't oh, get chased out of the room when they need yeah, it. Yeah, right. that's what the issue was. We kept getting chased out and moving yeah. around. And remember, we couldn't be in one room in B or C or whatever. We couldn't it was. be downstairs, so yeah. we had to go up and then we had to come mind. back and. And yeah. the, I didn't and mind the legal people kick us out. And, yeah, and we had a, a specific, we got to be out by this because they need the room for this. I like that. You know, we, we, I like that. You know, the city all look at that. You know, just My bladder says, yeah, I gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> city. I have up all the restaurants are running. Are you thinking on the 2400? I think it's on the 2400. Yes. 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 Yes.